Mimi's Christmas by Martin Waddell and Leo Hartus. Mimi lived with her mouse sisters and brothers beneath the big tree. Santa Mouse will come soon, Mimi told her mouse sisters and brothers as they huddled up close to the fire. You must write your Santa Mouse notes so he will know what to put in your stockings. The Mouse brothers and sisters started scribbling their Santa Mouse notes. They scribbled and they scribbled and they scribbled and they scribbled and they scribbled. And they scribbled. I can't write Santa's note by myself. I'm too small, Hugo told Mimi. I'll do it for you, said Mimi. Tell me what to write. This is the note Mimi wrote. Dear Santa Mouse, I hope you are well. I'd like a big drum. Love from Hugo Mouse. P.S. I'm the small one. Does Santa Mouse have drums? asked Hugo when they were hanging the lights on their very own mouse Christmas tree. Well, he might have a small one, said Mimi. It has to fit in your stocking. A small drum that makes a big boom when you bang it, said Hugo. Just wait and see, Hugo, said Minnie. Christmas Eve came and it snowed. The mice tumbled and jumbled about in the snow. They tumbled and they jumbled and they tumbled and they jumbled till they all looked like little white mice. Papa, called Mimi, and her mouse sisters and brothers came in from the snow. They had a Christmas Eve feast, huddled close to the fire with mouse lemonade and mouse cake. Let's leave Santa Mouse some, Mimi said, and she put out mouse cake and mouse lemonade out for Santa under the mouse Christmas tree in her garden. Time for bed, sleepyhead, Mimi said. Hugo hung up his mouse stocking at the end of his little mouse bed. It was a very big stocking, though he was a very small mouse. Is it big enough for my drum? Hugo asked. Just wait and see, Hugo, said Mimi. The mouse sisters and brothers dreamed of the toys Santa Mouse would bring for their mouse stockings. They dreamed and they dreamed and they dreamed, and they dreamed, and they dreamed. All of them dreamed, except Hugo. Hugo was such a small mouse that he felt too excited to sleep. He got out of bed and he looked, but there wasn't a drum in his stocking. Hugo went looking for Mimi. I can't get to sleep. And that means Santa Mouse won't come, Hugo told Mimi, and he started to cry. There won't be a drum in my stocking. Mimi took Hugo out to the garden. Santa Mouse always comes, Mimi said. He comes when our mouse world's asleep. That's how Santa Mouse works. Mimi put Hugo to bed, and the next morning, Boom, boom, boom. Hugo's got his drum, Mimi Mouse's sisters and brothers told Mimi. And Christmas was noisy at Mimi's. <laughs>